Well, time now to focus on the men and a potentially serious health problem. I'm talking about HPV, the most widespread sexually transmitted infection in the United States. Did you know that? Well, here with important information, including treatments and causes, are Dr. Robert Yu and Dr. Davis Romney from Ironwood Cancer and Research Centers. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for being here Thank you. Thanks for having today. Us. Dr. Romney, I want to start with you. HPV, yes. what, is that, what does that stand for? HPV stands for human papilloma virus. And as you'd stated, it's one of the most common forms of sexually transmitted disease in the United States. And a lot of people don't realize that. I, I, I know, it's shocking. And it's not just men, it's women too as well, That's right? correct. Men okay. and women both are, can be affected by HPV infection. Okay, let's talk about uh, prevention. How, how, do you, how do you prevent from getting HPV? The FDA approved uh, HPV vaccination initially for prevention of cervical cancer, but now the utilization is widely used for both men and women for not even cervical cancer, it's more anal cancer or precancerous lesion. And now recently FDA even extended indication for age up to 45. Okay. And, and uh, the study has shown that this can potentially even uh, prevent and other type of HPV-related cancers. Okay, so yeah. it's all about that yeah. important vaccination, mm -hmm. right? And, and matter of fact, we were talking about our, our kids are, are getting introduced to this vaccination at, at a very young age. Is, is, that a, is that a good thing? It is a good thing because you want to have the vaccination before a child becomes sexually active. Right. And okay. that's critical before they have that exposure. Okay. So typically, you know, you talk to your primary care physician, um, usually in the early teens uh, would be the time that they would recommend to get that vaccine. Okay, let's talk about symptoms. And uh, doctor, you said that's part of the problem is that there kind of are no symptoms. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you know you have it? What's the best way to find out? And so it's symptoms, you know, having any type of abnormal lesions or any type of uh, this physical finding that is not, on you, that is not usual, okay. it's best to always talk to the doctor and get those symptoms uh, taken care of okay. and evaluated. Okay. Is there a test to find out if you have it? There is. Okay. So your doctor can test you for HPV virus to see if you've been exposed. Okay. Most people eliminate the virus over time. It takes a couple of years though, and during that time, they're still able to transmit the virus. Ah, okay. Let's talk about um, should you find out that you do have it and it, you've had positive tests, how do you treat it? It's a great question. You know, there really is no treatment for HPV once you've contracted it. Your immune system will take care of it eventually, um, but it is important to engage in safe stuff sex practices to avoid transmitting it to others. Mm -hmm. and, and Dr. Yu, you talked about um, uh, cancer it becomes a, a higher probable uh, risk of cancer when you have HPV? Absolutely. So HPV has up to 100 subtypes that the great news is majority of them do not cause cancer. Okay. However, there are some certain high-risk HPV infection that can lead to chronic infection, secondarily increased risk of certain types that are very different in men and women. Okay. In women, cervical cancer is number one, as okay. many people are aware. Mm -hmm. But in men, the cancer of the back of the throat called oropharyngeal cancer uh, is actually uh, top uh, most common cancer. More than 12,000 cases are reported every year. We're talking about 10% okay. of patients who are af affected with these infections can lead to cancer. Okay. Still relatively small number, but it's uh, definitely awareness needs to be raised. Yeah. Which is what we're doing here yeah. today, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Good information. It's good to be aware and it's really it's super important to educate yourself. Ironwood Cancer and Research Centers, uh, they actually have 10 Valley locations. Should you have more questions, need more information, you can reach out to them at 480-821-2838, or you can visit the website. It's ironwoodcrc.com.